everybody, welcome back. I we're in we've lost, I don't know, 35 runs in a row, but I feel like the power is growing inside of me. We're losing instead of a series of consistent mistakes, it's two mistakes. One big mistake. You're witnessing like an injured half Thor Bjornsson coming third in the 2017 World's Strongest Man competition. Taking a year to rehab and train in the hyperbaric time chamber and coming back to deadlift 1,100 pounds live on Twitch. Let's go. We're getting there. The brain is overclocked. I'm ready. I'm ready to kick this into gear. Okay. First, you got to ergo. You got to get your chair a little higher so you look down on the game. It's a psychological thing. We got Umbra Awoken. He's going to devour our spells and get very mad. Um, Umbra Champion Architect has been something we've been experimenting with that has not worked yet, but that's my own fault. And then uh, probably 15 armor on the pyre. Seems pretty good to me. Why does it sound like somebody's taking a hit off of a water pipe for tobacco use only in the background? Oh, it's the pyre over here. Um... I mean, Spikes 3 is not that big of a deal when we have armor on our pyre for one, which is gonna absorb like at least one wave. And then secondarily, we really only have like one large unit that's doing pretty much everything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm choosing not to sweat this too much. Although I will say, you don't attack, that's unfortunate. Because it would be sick for us if we could, uh, put a morsel like up a floor or two floors so maybe it could kill the collector I didn't really think about that we don't have targeted damage so never mind we do have targeted damage so let's get that handled um, I will still say you guys are gonna make it you're only gonna have 20 HP when you go up here which is fine because you won't do enough damage to hurt our pyre although the spikes might get you there to be fair donkey 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 dunk dunk okay good stuff good stuff this is much better Getting a little damage shield, getting a little extra uh, damage. And you know what? Why don't you just take a little moment to heal out here? A brief respite. I mean, if we're gonna do it, we might as well do it like this. Not, it doesn't change anything, but still. And then, um, two train stewards is pretty good. I'll admit. What are we drawing next turn? We're drawing one Train Steward probably next turn. I think I might like to put one more Restore on this for now then. We'll see how this goes. We do have a Damage Shield backing us up. We're not even getting close. We also did not draw a Train Steward, but we will draw one next turn. Uh, man, it would be nice to kill you, but I can't. Um, how about one of those? Now we're doing 90 damage. I mean, I mean, we just play our cards. The only question is where they go. Um, Taking 99 damage. This, honestly, you probably do best just absorbing a hit from our champion. Or for our champion. I'm, I'm pessimistic that we're going to be able to kill the champ. We really need to draw... I was just going to say we really need to draw Ant Umbra Assault. That's a good start. Um, and then, of course, as you're well aware, we need some, some train steward action coming in here. Two and lifesteal. Actually, might keep us alive long enough. Okay, it did two extra damage, so obviously you're dying before it matters. Um, healing doesn't do anything for us, so we'll just get uh, two morsels up on the top floor. We really don't need to do much to you. <laughs> Either way, you're hitting our pyre for a maximum of five, which means you're effectively doing zero, but um, how, how sweet it would be to, to actually get you with morsels, huh? Oh my god. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The morsels have completely protected the pyre. All right, good trial. It's a tough one. It's a tough one because they're all good choices, but I think more Ant Umbra assaults is always is always nice for us. Um, and we, we have two restoration detonations. That's correct. I guess Steel Enhancer is not as good in every situation, but is a little bit more useful in all situations, if that makes sense. It's like a McDonald's. It's consistent. Okay, so it's really like... Which one are you gonna roll with? 
And uh, early, I, I, this is, I, I can't believe I've never won a run at all with this. However, and uh, by the way, the unit upgrade is not going to help us out too much, but we will give you multi-strike anyway. Um, you probably won't need to have too much more HP. And we're going to cut, um, I mean, our train stewards are pretty good. To be honest, we'll probably start cutting our basic restores. I think our shade splitters are a little bit more useful here for us right now. Um, but uh, we, we really want a gorge unit. You are going to add spikes. I think we're going to turn this on, mostly because our pyre can deal with the problems that we have here. Like, I, I think units will make it past us, which sucks. However, um, I also think that's pretty much okay. You're now oh, actually, we're doing a lot of damage here. The spikes are going to destroy you pretty quickly, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Um... So we definitely wanted an Antumbra assault here. One, one second, one moment, please. Um, and you you put a copy on every time. So that's extremely good. That's also pretty great. We're tapped out back here, but this does wonders for you. And with one more wave, um, you do one damage. We definitely would rather... I would say let's let's get ready for the third floor. We got more time to set up up there, maybe. I don't know, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, this this seems okay. So generally, I think you go, oh, I mean, that's a, such a good morsel. We can turn it into two morsels, though. But light, I don't know, I, I almost feel like the double, well, maybe we'd rather just have one life steal. And then kill the other one. I don't think this was nearly as good. I'll, I'll just own up to that. Um, we do get a little bonus on you. Not yet, but in the future. And then we can put you up here to get ready. I don't know. Um, we, we really want... We have one great floor right now. And then everything else is a little bit not so great. The spikes, by the way, are what's, what's blowing us out here. Um, there's very little we can do to really stop that. But I think we still will be fine uh, long term. Sweep is also terrible for us. So this, making you live for one more turn, changed things quite drastically. Um, and then the lifesteal, I still think getting the... Oh, but you're going to die. You're going to die to the sweep before anything happens. So in actuality, though it looks totally busted, the lifesteal does best up there. Um, Because ah, of sweep, it doesn't matter that much. Hold on, hold on. I think that's the way we do it. It's not good. The 10 armor is really bad because Ant Umbra Assault can't hit these units. But to be fair, Ant Umbra Assault hitting those units really doesn't matter all that much. And again, this is pretty much just the way you have to do it. Um, I, I still don't think we're going to die, but it's, it's going to be a little close for sure. Um... And again, this, this changes nothing. 25? We're gonna live, but it's gonna suck. Let's just... Let's just call it like we see it. It's really like... Like, sweep just hard counters what we got going on here. We still got 34 HP and we got 15 armor every single battle. That, that effectively means right now we have 49 HP. Um, we probably shouldn't have turned on that trial. So this better be a great unit. It could still be worth it. I really do like Mind Collapse as a way to, uh, really, if we could upgrade spells early. I'm still gonna take it. This is not the Gorger I freaking want, dude! <laughs> um... Oh, it's the Gorger we're gonna take, even though it's expensive. We've won with Shadow Eater? When did that happen, dude? Um, I wanted to upgrade spells. If that's not doable, then it's not doable. We'll probably go for unit upgrades then instead. And, uh, we do- I mean, we want the Maker. It, maker, Master, Gorger on the same floor. It's pretty- pretty great stuff. We get the opportunity to have multi-strike again. Um... Alright. I mean, I'm gonna give the Shadow Eater- Oh, I don't have the ability! 
<laughs> it's alright, he's gonna gorge things that give him damage. I thought I had enough gold to also buy. Uh, let's just not talk about that. We do heal units, so we probably do not want to use this. Um, let, let's lose six pyre health, and then our pyre can hopefully sustain itself. We, In fact, we could let, with armor, we could let crappy units make it up to the top. And then have the pyre kill them to get some HP back. But that's a little bit big brain for me, let's be honest here. So I don't know how we want to set this up right now. We got a few too many things that work well on the same floor. That's a that's a given. Um, I would say, still, I like it like this. And if, if this ends up being incorrect, then in my head and my heart... I say, so be it. It's a decent first floor. Now the Shadow Gorger, which I, I had a sneaking suspicion we were going to draw. The Shadow Gorger and the Morsel Maker, Morsel Master, excuse me, should probably go on the same floor. I think we're going to let these guys make it to the Pyre to heal our Pyre a little bit. Although it will take off some of our armor. If we really wanted to get funky, we could morsel master down here, and the gorges are out of control. But I think we're better off, and it, it sucks immediately, but hopefully over time, it gets a little bit better. Um, oh, I also forgot that our morsel master is like super high damage. I, I forgot about that little that little tidbit, which is pretty great. Um, Okay, so you're, you're living, which is really all we could ask for. And then up here, we don't mind this because it wipes all the units. And then in terms of, of healing, it's not really necessary on anybody. So I guess for now, we'll just put a train steward up a floor. Our champion's in a tricky spot. There's no doubt about that. Shadow Gorger is still doing pretty well, quite frankly. I think you just, like, those coming out is beautiful. And then, probably just go with one of these, which will also give you a damage shield moving forward. Um, and, I mean, dude, this is going well. I don't know what you want me to say. This is going real well. Um, let's keep our, our champions doing pretty well. So, multi-strike is a better target for Steel Enhancer. But, I think that because our champion is kind of our first line of defense here, that made sense. Um, and we might as well give, well, I mean, it's one energy next turn. We don't really want to encant on the bottom floor, unless... 37 and 3. No, you're exactly dying. Oh, but you only do more damage, so we, we could have done it. But we would have healed one, because we were at full HP, we'd only be getting the regen. We would have, like, healed one to, uh, to save one, which doesn't really make sense, unless we get a further benefit from encanting. Um, so I'll tell you, Shadow Gorge is great, but if we want to keep this train steward alive, we can do so with one energy, which is pretty good. And then up here, I would say this is double morsel territory... Let's give you some damage so you can actually start to hurt enemies. Let's give you another Gorge trigger. And if we got space... I mean, this is looking mighty nice, dude. I wish we did get our Pyre to get some kills, but it's, it's still looking mighty nice right now. You are only taking 95 damage, which is really not great. Um, but you living for one extra hit should do 43 more damage. So this is kind of a given. Um, and then, are these any good? These are damage shield, so damage shield 2 should change things quite decently. Decently, we can't really find a spot to play that. Now, this is scary, because this second floor is not that hot for us right now. Never mind, we get a kill. Probably, I guess, just because our Shadow Eater is so strong. Makes sense. I guess we could... Yeah, we should have done that differently, but whatever. You're not dying anymore. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, it's not really because of the Shadow Eater. It's more because of the Morsel Maker's damage, but... This is... It's still good. I really... I, I wish that Capacity was the play. But for right now, I definitely think Energy is the play. I'm like, my brain is like, I'm too lazy to try to see if Adaptive Mutation will work for us. I don't think it does great for us, but if we get like a 75-30 champion in Adaptive Mutation, then we're talking, right? Then we're talking, but... I think Unleash the Wildwood is just kind of like, really nice. Uh, 
And I, I think we're doing okay on the gorges. Like, I think I think the gorges are working out fine. So a Crucible Collector and then giving the Crucible Collector more HP is probably what I'm looking for right here. And then the other thing is um, I want to remove Train Stewards and I want to make... Um, I had a spell. Oh, yeah, I want to make um, Mine Shaft Cave-In, whatever the heck it's called. I want to give it uh, plus 10 damage so that we can play it for zero and get energy back. So for sure, I don't think the restores are amazing, but the train stewards no longer have place. These are basically like negative cards, negative capacity. Um, plus 10 magic power goes on mine collapse. Minus one cost. Quite frankly, doesn't really... Oh, actually, no, it makes perfect sense on gem trove. Never mind. <laughs> and then, this is an interesting choice too. Um... I think you go raw stats with the capacity kicker. And this does make it maybe possible that you could play the champion and a shadow eater on the same floor. I think we say no to this. Mostly because our multi-strike units, we want them to live, they're good enablers. The artifact would be nice, don't get me wrong. This is one I might kick myself over a little bit. Um, so I know that we love this. You're gonna get the encant, so what, you know? Big whoop. Uh, the thing with our champion is that they're not really a gorger. So we could put a gorger in front of them. Like, we could put a crucible collector in front. It's not a great tank right now, though. I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Just, just, you know, we're trying new things. We're trying to see how it works. We need you to survive through the next turn, and you are going to survive through the next turn, which means you're going to heal. So we can play Mind Collapse for zero. We can actually just kill you, which is is highly comical. Um, although we want you to die. Are we willing to let 75 gold go to waste here? I think we are. Uh, because I, I really can't stress enough, I want you to die. <laughs> oh, you're in cans. Hold on. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, you, you got 34, but we're still just going to put this here for some extra, two extra energy next turn. And then this doesn't really do anything for us, but it, it does stop uh, that unit from making it up a floor to antagonize our, 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 our Morsel Master, which is what I was looking for. Um, so I think, though it's bizarre... That's just your play. And you got no encants down here, so you just, you know, let it ride. How you doing here? Not quite getting the kill. That's fine. You're dying. That's not fine. If we do this, we get out in front of it. Um, so we definitely want you to live. I think giving you... One turn of damage shield also helps. And then as far as morsels go, you do get life... Oh, we need to give you more capacity. So we're more, more capacity for lifesteal, I should say. So we're going to give you HP and then one heal there at the end. And then really, like, our morsels are just here in case we draw one of our remaining train stewards next turn, I guess. But again, if these guys make it to the pyre and do a little damage to the armor, it doesn't matter to us at all because we actually uh, will heal off of that. So, like, if you hit us once and we kill you, we get five Pyre health. So, I'm kind of content to just let you go. I and mean, this won't change it, which is what we want. It'll just keep you... It'll keep the morsels from dying and then you'll get to eat them, which seems like a net benefit to me. Um, now, we might as well kill you because we get sick morsels that, that give us huge lifesteal up at the front. And we're actually just going to keep this moving on you for now. Um, and it really is important to give this lifesteal unit more capacity uh, for HP, like give him more max HP. Because otherwise, um, if, a, if a boss comes in, let's go. If a boss comes in and just hits them for, you know, <laughs> 23, it's all over. So we, we, we've, already, we've already got it, um, which is wonderful news. Pog. And it, we got it despite not being able to hit both of the units at the back, which is actually really kind of indicative to me that this first floor works really well. 
You know, th this first floor, especially with a little bit more max HP on our uh, on our tank, is going to be incredible. For now, at least. I mean, we got to scale it with the rest of the game. It is interesting. So basically, if you play this for one... I don't know, is it that good? <laughs> I kind of see it like Channel Song, except worse. Like, like a lot worse, because Channel Song costs one and gives you way better benefits. It would, if it hit a multi-strike unit, it would be pretty good, but I honestly, I, I'm sticking to my principle on this one. Um, I, I don't think any of these are that applicable either. So, we want, um, more than anything else, I think we want unit upgrades. We don't have the option. Um, so, to be honest, we'll probably take the free relic. We're a little relic light. We got good ones, don't get me wrong. We don't consume <clears throat> many cards, so we'll just take slightly weaker enemies and it really is slight but um so be it now i know you're probably going like this is a little bit expensive for removal purposes but i think you, you deal with what you got we weren't gonna be able to buy any relics on the left side anyway um i i really do want the artifact but this i hate having this challenge on this wave because some of these units have 80 hp we just have no means to get them there um, our pyre could do some damage, admittedly, but... So, we like you here. I mean, I, I still think you can do a Morsel Maker down here, and it won't really... It's not gonna bother you that much, but... Um, that might strike you as being weird, but... I like it. I don't know, I mean... I guess I, I do take, like, if an ape broke, don't fix it sort of philosophy here. I just want to make sure... We'll even have the space to summon... You know what? Because of the order of this, I don't even think we're going to have the space to summon a over uh, the the gorger here next turn. So I think maybe we'll we'll chalk that up as uh, an incredible mistake. But we can still get our oh my god. <laughs> we can still get our bottom floor cruising here. So we I was just going to say we can put our crucible collector on this floor instead cuz the other unit is is uh the the shadow gorger is We a shadow gorger could fit down here. It's it's actually totally fine. Donkey Donka. You're not gonna get got, which is unfortunate, but this is still really good until we get our Shadow Gorger. Now this one unit is gonna make it up. And there, there's really very little we can do to stop it up there. So do we go Shadow Gorger? Morsel Master. You guys doing okay? You're doing fine up here. You're gonna make you're gonna do a lot of damage to our pyre, but our pyre is gonna heal a little off of you. That's not a big get, but it's something. And, uh, again, our Shadow Gorger is kind of like a permanent AoE. That was, that was nasty. That was nasty. Similarly, like, we have a really hard time killing you. Really, really hard time killing you. Um. We need to slay a unit. And I know you're... Oh, dude, this guy just counters. I still think you have to... Actually, you don't have to do it here. This guy counters... Oh, well, we gotta do it somewhere. <laughs> he counters uh, Umbra so hard. I mean, it's, it's a really weird one, but... For now, I would almost say, like, just play nothing... Um, because it's just going to give this guy more HP, which is, I, I think our Pyre is in more danger due to enemies than it is due to bosses right now. So I, I, I do think that it's very sensible. I actually just think this is the morsel we want. Um, I, I think it's very sensible to just try to stop the bleeding on that one, really. We'll give you one of those. We'll give you one of these, and we're not even going to Ant Umbra Assault because we like what we got. Yeah, these guys are the are the gorge destroyers. So we are doing 511 damage, which is really nice. We don't really have anything to change the way this is going to go except for that, but that's still pretty good. 
and you guys are all doing great. I guess all I would say is, like, if I could... That doesn't... Oh, no, it doesn't change things, but... It was worth a shot. Okay, love you. So we're gonna live here. It's not, uh... It's certainly not how I drew it up, and we lost a lot of Pyre health in the process, but... I thought it still went relatively well. All things considered. So our, our number one priority is still more health on our lifesteal unit. I think will we'll get us there. Um, I actually think that, like... A slightly weaker damage shield card is really good, too. I Wildwood Tome is hard to say no to. Quickness on... Uh, our lifesteal unit might not be that good, but but quickness on like our champion, for example, I think is really strong. So I I want the pyre health badly, but I think this is like our long term best option. So you getting a little bit more health, and then maybe uh, you finally getting some damage. I wanted even more health, but it is what it is. And then our relic is free morsel every turn, or draw one. Every time you heal. The Morsel, I think, is a little bit more consistent. Although we don't have a third floor to place it in. And I think... Uh, enhance all cards drawn this way with minus two. I, I think Shroud Spike is still... It's, we've never won with it, which is always a bad sign. But I'm worried that I'm using that gold indicator as an opportunity to be like, Oh, well, we know this is good because it's gold. And I think we've also taken a lot of goofy golden cards that didn't necessarily have... You know, they, they probably wouldn't have gotten there if I had taken them on a middling run. But because I took them on a run that was insanely overpowered, we were doing okay. Alright, so, I mean, you're, you're doing just a staggering amount of damage. On the bottom floor, though... We do still... Rap. Um... This is bad. Work with me for a second here. Morsel... Work with me for a second here. Now you're living. This is a really tough one. <laughs> but if I give you quick, I think if I could just keep you alive for one more turn, we can get you there. But you're, you're actually super full on capacity. There's no way we're going to get you there. What was I thinking, dude? Unless... Hold on. Because the Gorge will do wonders for us here. You guys are obviously a real problem. Um, and we can't even play that. You just give me a minute. We, we actually have plays here. I know it looks like this is a disaster. We have plays here. I think you start here. And then, weirdly enough, and you're not gonna, like, believe this, but I think you go Morsel Master, which is gonna die until you summon this Morsel, which is doubling up. Now you're living. Um... And then, you got two energy. What do you do? Shroud spike the HP one. Now we get lifesteal. And we're quick, which means we attack first. Now, we, the encant is what it is. That's all I'm going to say about that. We hit you with that. We get some energy back. I stand by this. We do, we want you to have a damage shield, without a doubt. And then back here, I don't know, why don't we give our Morsel Maker a damage shield? And there's no other place for Shade Splitter to go. Okay. I mean, this is not good, but it's, it's starting to stabilize. You guys are going to do a real number on our pyre, I'll tell you that much. So, you're living. Everybody's doing fine here. Relatively speaking. I think we have to shut up. Shut up. I think we have to set up our Shadow Gorger. You give energy. We don't mind that, so we'll, we'll put that in there. Um, you're almost dying, which is sick. And then, we don't really have space for morsels. So I actually think that um, maybe put some stats on your... Oh, but that's going to make him harder to kill. Smart. Smart play. We'll put some stats maybe on our, uh, on our tank. Uh, you have sweep, which is very annoying, but there's not much we can do about it. 
Um, you're healing for 28. That almost gets you there. Let's do that then. So our Pyre is going to have to do some work up here. We are going to heal for 10. But we took some damage in the process. Ay, 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 ay. You're doing fine. This is not a problem. And you have 2 HP. Yeah, okay. So we've, we've stabilized. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> um... We gotta put the the morsel miner up there. That's a give a, a gimme. Um, on the top floor, I, I mean, we will summon the morsels. They're basically just getting summoned to die, uh, but that's actually okay. We actually we're running into the problem where now that we only have like two floors where really anything gets done, uh, we're not killing enemies fast enough to stop them from hitting the pyre. So I sadly, and this is a hard problem to solve here, which is why I said sadly, but. We, we need to find a way uh, to to kill enemies faster, which probably means we need a... Yeah, this is still your play. We need a unit. And getting a unit at this point is not an easy task. You don't really need damage shield, but... I'm like, what, what do you hit then? Because if we do... Oh no, you have a slay trigger, so you know what? This does at least make you die. Um, and then we can just summon this up here for the damage shield, and we won't play Shade Splitter. It's a very tough situation. Wait, did we just did we just get swept and lose our Morsel Maker down here? We did. We have five life steal, which for me says that it's still like pretty okay down here. Um, although obviously we'll be trying to get out in front of that as quickly as possible. You're still gonna get the kill here, huh? So I actually don't think you play the Train Steward. Bizarrely enough. Um, but I, I am very confused about how we're going to make it out of this one. You have 35. You're not going to kill our pyre. You will you will hurt it, but you, you're not going to kill it. Um, we can at least slow you down. And we really need these morsels down at the bottom for maximum like, lifesteal ability now. So what are, you, what are you doing with this top floor, dude? I mean, if we're doing nothing... We should just do this. You're still dying, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand. Now you're only... Not dying, but very nearly dying. Okay, we're on the final wave. This is where things are going to get hot. You're taking 950, which is really a good start, I would say. And then... Uh, that didn't change that at all, which is surprising to me. Damage shield is good. Oh. Life steal is good. Oh. More damage? It gets you there. I, I kind of don't believe it, but here we are. Doing everything we can. Not my finest move, huh? Anyway. Um, we made it. Took a little finesse. But you can see, dude, this life steal tank is getting... Pogged out of his freaking gourd. Um, it. I am very skeptical about our abilities against the final boss. I feel like we could probably make good use of a trample. Uh, particularly on our champion. Capacity is probably our larger problem now. And if you'll forgive me... I think, I think I've think i got to play. And we haven't done this in a while. Um, the train steward has got to go. Get out of here. Um, your basic restores should have been gone a long time ago. But we're, we're doing it everything we can. I think we have to dupe... The Crucible Collector. I think we need to have a third floor that's capable of doing something. I'll admit, giving you trample by default is pretty good. But 140, and then for 2 energy, we can also give you Trample. That's going to make it a lot easier for our waves to, to stop enemies as they move closer to the top. So, uh, we don't fight you that often. What do you do? You give Multi-Strike. It's not good. Um, really, it, it, to some extent, it depends on our, our draw order. Dunky, dunka, dunka, dunka. So you're doing 18 damage. That's enough for us to absorb the first hit, for sure. And then, it, 
I it depends where you want to play your Morsel Master. I feel like Morsel Master with Life Steal up at the front has been completely fine. Um, so rather than use a Shade Splitter on you that does essentially slash exactly nothing, I think we play a Shade Splitter, nuke one of these guys, and then get uh, way better Morsels. That's going to make our champion that much stronger. We've reached the seven room limit. All right, we probably should have played our lifesteal one first, but <laughs> let's get, just give our champion more HP just so they're more likely to survive this situation. We'll dump that morsel up there for the future. All right. Hey, the, the collector's got multi-strike. All right, so this is like pretty not great, um, but we'll definitely make sure you die. And then if you hit our pyre, I don't care too much. So the, the crucible collector has to come out. That's a, that's like full stop. It's gotta happen. And then I actually like, I mean, I would look at this like, eat this six times for energy. Now we got six energy. As far as mind collapse goes, I am, maybe we don't use it on you. Maybe we use it on you instead. But you're actually, we're doing fine down here. We could use it on the Collector, but I think that's not a wise play. Hold on. That's a good one. Now you're dying, so I don't really care about you, but I do care about you. So we'll Mind Collapse you, unless... You know what? There's still more space for this first. And then we'll Mind Collapse you. This is how much I care about my Pyre. I'm doing it instead of getting the gold. Alright. Shadow Gorger, Morsel Maker would be top tier draws here. Although you are dying, which is not good. Um, but we can apply damage shield to you. We, we can't really do any damage. And damage shield one is not going to do it. So I, I actually think you might die. So we have to make a decision on how we'd like to play our Crucible Collector. Personally, with you having six lifesteal, I think a Crucible Collector coming out here just to eat the hit is probably the most sensible play. Uh, though it looks scary, and really is a little scary. This is what we want here, and then... Okay, um, but what do you... We want to have the Shadow Gorger, so we can play three of these guys. Okay, and then this does nothing. Yeah, but still. <clears throat> Healed a little bit. It's the mu the multi strike unit is creaming us on this one. It's it's a sincere problem. Nine plus twenty two plus. Okay, so we need to put morsels up in front, but we can do that. So the shadow gorger comes out here. You die. You're gonna do a lot less damage to our pyre. We can live with that. Now we do want morsel maker up here. Unfortunately, we kind of screwed it up. Um, so I think instead we plan for our relentless floor. I'm having some f bro, bro, we screwed it up terribly. You were supposed to play this to kill this guy and save yourself 22 damage. Oh my god, the Crucible Collector still lives. <laughs> I don't believe it. All right. Um, so I don't really care if you make it to our pyre. Your pyre health, basically. Now, if I could hit you for five somehow... That would mean a lot to me, but I can't. So our pyre is going to take some hits. Um, no capacity down here. Okay, so we just just get these guys going. Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo. And then in terms of quickness, I still think with life's... But quickness really only benefits you on turn one for that. I think maybe making your champion quick might be slightly more beneficial. Six, you're already healing full. Okay, so we don't have to play anything else. Um... So we do really well, in theory, on these Relentless Waves. And this is a pretty good sign. I mean, this this is good. Admittedly, the Trample does nothing for us. And we can't really change things. So I, I disregard the Trample really doesn't change anything at all. Um, and we have no other units. So it's it's the multi-strike. Like, if I could just find a way to hit you, that would do something for me. Um, I almost wonder. 25-25, 40-40... I, I can't really do anything, and the, again, the trample doesn't matter. So, I don't know, you just kind of throw this on your... 
on this guy. <laughs> See if it changes anything. Might as well play it, but... This is gonna be pretty tight. Now, I, I believe in the power of our Shadow Gorger. He's doing 72 damage. I, I just can't quite get to you, which... But, however, this plus this makes you die a little bit faster. But I think you're still gonna get us. I think you're still gonna get us. It, it, it's painful. I mean, moreover, I'm like, I don't know how I could stop you, really. So I'm, I'm t like, even our morsels, they're not gonna do enough damage to stop you. It is what it is. I actually was pretty proud of that run, honestly. I think that for a, a Covenant and Faction we're not necessarily great with, we almost made it work, and just kinda... A, let's not call it a bad draw, let's call it a deck that's too thick. But we're still getting the muscles going. I promise, we're gonna get there. For now, thanks for your support, I appreciate it. We're gonna, this is a hard, stuck moment for us, but we're gonna get there. And I'll see you next time. Maybe with some more trials, maybe that's our problem. Anyway, see ya.